If you miss with the first shot, your target will duck for cover. And that's that. I was determined not to waste this shot. Coming back from shore leave was something of a climate shock. Stifling heat, crazy humidity. Who'd think it would be so moist when you're 50 miles away from the desert? And then, there's that other detail. Every time you go into action, you got terrorists taking pot shots at you. Fun. And action is what I got, almost immediately on return. Yet another ship hijacking, Hakim involved. That bastard was a total mystery. We knew Hakim controlled half the pirates in Somalia. We knew his smuggling network operated all over the Indian Ocean, from South Africa to Singapore, but we didn't have even a single photo of the guy. Well, we were about to score big time. Not only was Hakim on board, one of our informers was there too. He can't take a photo. He'd be dead within 10 seconds, but he'll stick right close to Hakim and he'd point him out to us. Easy money. Just have to sneak on board the hijacked ship, wipe out all his pirates, and cuff them. Easy money. Mustang, Snyder here. We're on board. Move it in. Roger that, Snyder. Good luck. Continue on the lower levels. I'm under fire! Quarters. Affirmative.
Move up. I'm at position at level one. Get ready, on my mark. Three, two, one, go, 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 go! <laughs> Alpha one, upper decks are clear and secured. What are the orders? The other squad found detonators on the ship. There could be a bomb on the ship. Check lower decks and engine room.
Nice work, Captain. Go back to upper deck and continue.
No kill me! No kill me! Hey, not bad. That's three words. Let's see what else he can say. Where's your boss, asshole? Where's Hakim? Please! No kill me, please! Hakim! He left five minutes ago. Ship will crash into shore. You killing us? He take motorboat to harbor. Damn, he escaped? Where's he going? What's he gonna do? Not know! He go to warehouse in city. He do business. Luckily for us, ships ain't as explosive prone as planes. When the ship rammed the docks, it was definitely the docks that got the worst end of the deal. In the chaos that followed, nobody even noticed the two of us. Just the way it should be. We hoped Hakim would assume we got stuck in the shipwreck. Meanwhile, we knew where he was going. You can't get us off your back that easy. We knew where he was going, but we still had to get there. Kismeo ain't a good place to visit when you're wearing an American uniform. Fortunately, we were able to borrow a vehicle in the harbor. Now we just had to race across the city and try not to get shot. Get ready, Green. We're going in. That warehouse didn't look inviting, that's for damn sure. We had no idea what was in there. No idea what Hakim was doing. No idea what to expect at all. As soon as we went in, we realized our mission had just changed. The place was filled with, well, anything a terrorist could possibly desire. Guns, munitions, explosives, petrol, all there for the taking. It would have been best just to blow it all to hell, but obviously, that was not an option. We'd already lost Hakim once on the ship. Made too much noise, scared him away. This time, we wanted to sneak up on the bastard. And that meant no guns.
Over here, take a snap of this. through yet? Who knows what else we'll find? this loot. Damn. Wow. Over there. That looks like some kind of homemade gas canister. Mustang, Snyder here. We got what appears to be chemical weapons.
Schneider, your find may well be more important even than capturing Hakim. What? Mustang, what the hell is this? Can they really be making chemical weapons here? Intel's been buzzing lately with reports of terrorist organizations negotiating the Let's move! Hakim. We'd suspected this was more than just ordinary. Ah! What about Hakim? Let him go? Negative. Hakim is the brain behind all this. And it's going to be a long time before we get another opportunity to get him. And we still don't know what he looks like. I just hope that damn informer's still with him. All right, Mustang. We're going in. Green, don't shoot. Don't even move until I signal you. This looks interesting. You gonna make a photo? Over here, take a snap of this. Keeping a gun to Green's head, the bastard made his way into the sewers. What else could I do? I followed him. His English was remarkable. Was this one of our homegrown terrorists? Living the American dream year-round and going on jihadist holidays to Somalia? In a hostage situation, being able to make yourself understood is half the battle. If you can talk, if he listens, you got a chance to talk him out of it. Over the years, we'd really gotten the hang of hostage negotiations. The key? It ain't about being nice to them. They know you're there to kill them. You don't make promises. They know you won't keep them. No. You make them fear you. If only I'd known.
Mustang, we got a hostage situation here. Got a terrorist holding green. I'm on him. Look, pal. I said back off. Oh, I ain't going anywhere. I'm not joking here. I will kill him. All right, all right. I understand that. But as long as you're holding my friend, I have to follow you. Let him go and I'll back right off. I let him go? You kill me? You don't let him go. I'll kill you. Enough! Put your guns down. Drop them! You drop them now, I swear! I will shoot him. You shoot him, you die. I know you'll kill him anyway if I put down my gun. I'm keeping my gun. And the moment you pull the trigger, you'll have my bullet in your brain. No, I kill him! All right, let's do it together then. We shoot on three. One. You're crazy. That's right. You terrorists are crazy? We're crazier. Two. Okay, stop. Don't shoot. Now we're talking, buddy. Now you got a chance to save your own hide. I don't kill for no reason. Let him go. You'll be safe. Okay, okay. Wait. This is good. This is progress. Now, just give me your gun, tell me where your boss went, and I won't kill you. Green. Man, you alright? Alive. I think I'll stay that way, but I ain't in the mood to dance, that's for sure. Mustang, come in. Got some major trouble here. We hear you, Snyder. What's your status? Green is down. Badly wounded, but he'll live. Bastard that shot him got away. Unimportant, Snyder. Only Hakeem matters. We don't care about his lackeys. Mustang. Hakeem must be miles away by now. They detected us in the warehouse. There was a shootout. Understood. Get Green out of there. We'll work on getting in touch with our informers. We've gone too far to let that bastard get away. I don't envy our informer. Staying as close as possible to Hakim on one hand, and having to respond to our calls all the time on the other. How the hell did he remain undetected all that time? Still, at this point, it seemed, he was entirely useless. He'd lost contact with the target. All he was able to give us was a location they had previously been planning to go to, after their business in the warehouse was done. Only, would Hakim still go there knowing we were after him? Just one way to find out. Leaving Green in more or less a safe spot, I marched off. Fortunately, it wasn't far. Mustang, I'm on location. How do I proceed? I don't think there's any chance of taking Hakim alive. Not when I'm alone. Snyder, you have no way to reinforce your position. On your own. You have permission to eliminate targets. Great. Just the way I like it. All right, Mustang, I'm going in. Wish me luck. Break a leg. Uh, thanks. So much for going in quietly. I guess...
Push him out!
I see him! You, the informer. Damn it, I could have taken you out, idiot. What the hell are you doing here? I wait for you with information about Hakim. You just missed him. He left five minutes ago. And if you not hurry, you miss him entirely. He leaving the country today. Damn, damn, damn. Again. Mustang, hope you're getting this. Where's he going? What's he gonna do? He go to Jamambe Airport. He has plane there. We'll leave in 40 minutes. I am to meet him there. So he'll be waiting for you. Great, you take me with you. Oh, no, 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 no. Not possible. I won't leave. But there is shortcut. You can walk to airport through canyon. Take 15 minutes. Canyon, too difficult for car. I drive long way. Take 30 minutes. Hakim not leave until he talk to me. Now you're talking. How do I recognize Hakim? Do you have any photos of him? No photo, no photo. No one take photo. You take photo, you die. All right, listen. When I get there, I'm gonna find myself a good vantage point. I'll be watching. Once Hakim is walking to the plane, you approach him. Stop him and say something, anything. Okay, I do this. What then? Then, Hakim gets a bullet in his brain. Finally, things were going the way we wanted. Jamami Airport was just a short trot across a desert. If our informer was right, I even had a chance to reach the airport before Hakim himself. Just a short trot across the desert, through the canyon. Goes without saying, the way would be guarded by Hakim's lackeys. You don't gain control over half the Horn of Africa without learning to take a few basic precautions.
Viking! Almost 12 hours had passed since we'd boarded the hijacked Ariadne. The mission had been supposed to take a half an hour, an hour tops. Oddly enough, I didn't feel that tired. More than anything, I was looking forward to a shower, to wash the damn Somali dust away. First, however, I had a shot to take. As a sniper, you generally don't get second chances. If your first shot misses, your target will duck for cover, and that's that. I was determined not to waste this shot. Remember, can't make any noise. We can't afford to scare him off again. No, really? Yeah, Mustang, I've got the sound.
Where's the informer? You see him yet? Target in sight. Gotta be him. Ready to go. Taking the shot. Hold your fire. Wait for the informer, dammit. Finally. Informer in sight. <laughs> 